Mark Shields, the longtime PBS News commentator known for his weekly political analysis, has died Saturday morning at the age of 85, PBS News Hour confirmed. Shields died of kidney failure at his home in Chevy Chase, Maryland, News Hour spokesman Nick Masella told NPR. Before he retired in 2020, Shields provided thoughtful insights into the administrations of six U.S. presidents, on the Persian Gulf War, the Iran-Contra affair and 9-11. His tenure lasted for 33 years. Shields was known for both his sense of humor and his expansive knowledge of American politics, Judy Woodruff, the anchor and managing editor of NewsHour said in a tweet announcing his death. I am heartbroken to share this. The hit NewsHour's beloved longtime Friday night analyst Mark Shields, who for The Wall Street Journal called Shields the wittiest political analyst around and the Washington Post described him as a walking almanac of American politics. Mark radiates a generosity of spirit that improves all who come within his light, David Brooks, a New York Times columnist, wrote short. The two discussed politics together on NewsHour Friday evenings for nearly two decades. Shields was a native of Weymouth, Massachusetts, and graduated from the University of Notre Dame. After college, Shield went on to serve in the United States Marine Corps. Afterwards, he worked for several local and presidential races before embarking on his PBS career in 1988. Shields was also a columnist for several news outlets, including CNN and ABC. He showed his famous sense of humor in a 2006 commentary for NPR's This I Believe series, writing, I admire enormously the candidate able to face defeat with humor and grace. Nobody ever conceded defeat better than Dick Taku, upon losing a California state senate primary, said simply, the people have spoken. The bastards. <laughs>